Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is about principles of bookkeeping controls and I will talk about the RLCA reconciliation. But before that, let me just quickly mention the purpose of reconciliation and some of the possible errors made in the accounts. I will also enter in the description below some of the different terminologies used in this topic. So what is the purpose of reconciliation? In my previous video about writing off an irrecoverable death, I have mentioned that when we made the entries in RLCA, we have to update the subsidiary ledger, and this is the reason why. It's because the totals of the receivables ledger should always be equal to the RLCA. Not only the receivables, but also the payables. The total of the payables ledger should always be equal to the PLCA. And that's the purpose of reconciliation. It is necessary to make sure they are equal. If they are not equal, it means there might be some errors that must be corrected. So what are the possible errors? These are a few of those errors, but more errors will be discussed in the later videos about the trial balance. For now, let's take a look at these errors one by one. First is the casting error. Wrong totals posted to the control accounts. They could be either overcasted or undercasted. This applies to casting sales or purchases day book and cash book. Sometimes if the columns are totaled manually, there could be an error in the totals and that incorrect total will be posted to the control accounts. Next is transposition error. Digits are mixed up in posting. This applies in either day books or general ledger or subsidiary ledger. For example, if the correct amount is 85 but posted as 58, so the figures are switched. Next is omission error. One or more subsidiary ledger balances are omitted from the total or an entry was omitted on either RLCA or subsidiary ledger. This applies when we totaled all the individual customer accounts except for one because it was overlooked or there is an entry in the RLCA or individual account that we didn't post because it was overlooked. And the last is wrong balance. Credit balance assumed as a debit balance when getting the totals of subsidiary ledgers. This applies when the subsidiary ledger balances are just totaled without considering that the balances could either be debit or credit. Therefore, they could either be positive or negative balances. In correcting these errors, we have to determine where to make the adjustments either to the control account or to the subsidiary ledgers. You may notice some errors were made in the day box, therefore it affects the control accounts because we transfer the day box to the control accounts. Some errors were made directly to the control account and some errors were made in the individual account or subsidiary ledger. So the adjustments that we have to make on either control accounts or subsidiary ledgers depends on where the errors took place. Now let's move on to RLCA or SLCA reconciliation. Let's take a look at the example. The balance of the RLCA of ABC Limited does not agree with the total of the receivable balances at the end of the month. As you can see, the RLCA is a little bit higher than the totals of the receivables. Upon investigation, ABC Limited have found out that the following errors were made and must be corrected. So we have five errors. We have to make an adjustment in either control account or receivables. We can see the balance of RLCA in our RLCA account and the total of receivables is here in the original total of receivables. Once we made all the corrections for these five errors, our adjusted balance brought down of RLCA should be equal to our adjusted total of receivables. 
take note in correcting the RLCA, the journal entry is needed, but I won't be showing them to you right now. We will be discussing that in the later videos as well. In correcting the receivables, there is no need for journal entry. We just have to adjust the individual accounts and adjust the totals. So let's start with the first error. Letter A, the total column of the sales daybook was overcasted by 200. So this is an example of casting error. Remember that at the end of the period, the sales daybook are casted and the totals are transferred to the general ledger accounts. The total of the total or cross column that was recorded to the debit side of RLCA was over by 200, so we need to take it out. So to correct this error, we need to make the adjustment in the RLCA. The RLCA increases in debit, but to correct the error, we should decrease the RLCA by 200, so we should record that amount to credit. Then let's enter the details of this correction as sales daybook over cash. Next error, letter B, an invoice of 186 was correctly recorded in the sales daybook but recorded as 168 in the subsidiary ledger. So this is an example of transposition error wherein the digits are mixed up or interchange. It says here that the amount was correctly recorded in the sales daybook, therefore the correct amount was recorded in the RLCA. But the amount recorded in the subsidiary ledger is incorrect and it's lower than the correct amount. So to correct this error, we should make the adjustment in the receivables ledger. First, let's calculate how much is the amount that we should add. It's 186 minus 168. Let's add 18 to the totals of receivables and let's enter here sales daybook. Next error, letter C, a receipt of 80 was recorded in receivables ledger but overlooked in the control account. So this is an example of omission error. We received a cash and we recorded it to the receivables ledger or individual account but we did not record this amount to RLCA. So to correct this error, we should make the adjustment to RLCA. The RLCA increases in debit, but remember the cash that we receive as payment from our customer will decrease our RLCA. So we should enter this amount to credit. Then let's enter cash received. Next error, letter D, when adding up the receivables ledger, the credit balance of a customer's account of 109 was added as a debit balance. This is an example of a wrong balance error. There is no error made in RLCA but only in adding up the totals of the receivables ledger. So to correct this error, we should make the adjustments to the receivables ledger. First, the credit balance of 109 was supposed to be deducted, but instead it was added. So I have to take it out by subtracting 109 from the total, and this removes the error that we made. Second, deduct the credit balance 109 from the total, like how it was supposed to be in the first place. So we had to deduct two 109, but we can just combine them. We could deduct 218 from the total of receivables. Then let's add some details. Credit balance entered as debit. Then let's go to the last error. Letter E, a credit note of 62 was recorded in the daybook but omitted from one of the receivables. The credit note was recorded in the daybook, therefore in RLCA, but not recorded in receivables ledger. So to correct this error, we should make the adjustments to receivables ledger. The credit note is given to the customer either for sales return or discounts allowed, but we don't have to determine which because both of them reduces our receivables. So the 62 
which is the amount of the credit note, should be deducted from the totals of the receivables. Then let's add some details. Credit note. Now we're done in correcting all the five errors. The next thing that we have to do is to balance the RLCA and to calculate the adjusted total of the receivables. First, the RLCA, let's total both sides. And then insert the balance carried down to the side that has the lower total to make the totals equal. And then insert the balance brought down to the opposite side where we enter the balance carried down. Next, let's calculate the adjusted total by adding all the positive and deducting all the negatives. Once done, the new balance brought down of the RLCA and the adjusted total of receivables should be equal. And that's it for RLCA reconciliation. For the next video, I will be discussing the PLCA reconciliation and the VAT control account reconciliation. So if you like to watch more videos like this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.